Hello, welcome to my camera tour. My name is Laura. I'm a freelance DP and photographer based in LA. I have a lot of both video and photography cameras. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I like about each camera, what is challenging about each, and what kind of projects I like to use them for. First camera I'm gonna talk about is my first film camera, which is the AE-1. I don't know what it is, but everybody's dad always has one of these. I've recently fallen back in love with this camera because I have a 50 millimeter lens on it. It's really satisfying. Pictures come out really balanced and they're not too overwhelming. I feel like sometimes when you have a wide lens, there's just too much information in the photo. To me, I like something that's really simple. I really, really like the FD lenses. I've used them on digital cameras before for a short film to get a soft vintage look. Lens is also a 1.8, so it's very fast. Shout out to my dad for gifting me this camera. He took some amazing photos on it himself and I was so excited to be able to use it as my first film camera. My next camera is the Contax T2. I love this camera. I shoot everything on this camera. It's probably my lightest camera that I have, so I always reach for it when I'm traveling. I like that the aperture is clicky, it has flash. The lens is really sharp, it's a Zeiss lens. The one thing about this camera that I don't love is the focus can be tricky. This is definitely partly a me problem. Sometimes it can be cool, sometimes you can get cool results, but sometimes it's just not it. Next up, we have the Polaroid SX70. This camera was my grandpa's and I really want to use it more. I've gotten some really cool results out of this camera, but I've also gotten some really bad pictures too. Definitely need to test this camera more, but whenever I get images that come out well on this camera, I'm always impressed. Next up is my first medium format camera. No, it's not a Hasselblad, the Kiev 88. Something really cool about this camera is that it is square format. And I think that's my favorite format to shoot. It's so pleasing. You can play with the symmetry of it. There's something simple about it that's really refreshing to see. I really like that this camera has multiple backs. I'm never really shooting that much with it to where I need the multiple backs, but I like it in theory. I think it's very practical. I just feel like it has a very soft quality to it. I think it looks so cool with interesting natural lighting and nature specifically. I think it just makes it feel like a little bit extra dreamy. The only problem that I've noticed with this camera is light leaks. It can be pretty inconsistent. It's good for fun projects and personal projects, but it can't quite be trusted for professional use. Next up, I have the Mamiya 645. This camera was gifted to me by my boyfriend. It is probably the most beautiful camera I own. The sounds are so satisfying on this dang camera. It's really sturdy and well-built. And also it just gets very, very high quality images and it's very consistent. I've never had any problems with light leaks. This camera I would use professionally and I have used professionally. I've noticed that it gets really crisp and sharp images and I like shooting architecture with it. I think it's really cool for that, especially with the format. It's good for cityscapes and for traveling. I've taken it to New York, to Japan. This is the medium format that I'll take if I take one traveling, but it is freaking heavy. Every day that I carry this around, my arm is about to fall off. Next, I have my Sony Handycam. I love this little camera. <laughs> it's perfect for travel because it is so small. It gets cool images. I love the mini DV Hi8 style. Battery life is good on this. The time that you get for each tape is good. It's pretty easy to transfer on my computer. I'm always on the hunt for smaller cameras and this one is perfect. Next up is the RCA DSP3, and this camera is very special to me because it was actually my parents. They shot videos of me when I was little and us as a family on this camera. I actually thought this camera was broken, but I was able to fix it. And what's cool about it is it takes AA batteries. I just think that's awesome. It just makes so much sense. This camera takes i8 tapes. I actually took it with me on a trip with my boyfriend to France, and I made a little short film about it. My boyfriend actually brought me on a shoot with Kerry Washington, so I was able to shoot some of the behind the scenes footage on this camera. 
to say this camera was used to shoot me when I was a kid, then now for a shoot with Kerry Washington, it's just really special. My next camera is the Canon 310XL. This is a Super 8 camera. It's really awesome to be able to have this option for professional shoots, as well as the VHS option, even if it's just for a texture thing or a B-roll thing. These are both really cool cameras to have in your toolkit. On my trip to Japan, I took this camera. It was also super easy to get developed. I actually took it into Pro 8 in Burbank, and it turned out really pretty. The only thing is the focus is a little inconsistent some things turned out great and then other things not so much but it was worth it next up is my canon g7x which is what i'm filming this on i love this camera it's so small it's a perfect youtube perfect travel camera the audio quality is not that great hence the tiny microphone don't say hence anymore dad it's really annoying I took this camera to Taiwan, it made it so easy to make a quick video of the trip and it was not so obnoxious and intrusive to make people around us nervous. It's quality, the colors look great, and I really like it. Lastly, we have my A7S II. I love this camera, but I also hate a few things about it. The battery life is awful. The screen is not very versatile in how it flips around. If you're recording in 4K, it only records up to 30 minutes, which is weird and annoying, but it has been with me through many short films, music videos, branded content, and it has always been a very high quality camera. I truly owe so much to this camera and the Black Pro Mist quarter filter. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button because I got a lot more fun content coming up soon. Bye.